Welcome to the grill. Tonight, we've been thinking about the colder weather, football, and comfort food. And what food is better than comfort you in this colder weather? Yeah, you know what time it is. Tonight, it's chilly night. Come on in, grab a plate, and hold on to your appetite. It's time for Floyd at the Grill. Now we start our chili by browning our ground beef. This is uh, just about a pound of organic ground beef that I picked up over at Costco. And we're gonna season it with some chili powder. We just dump a little bit of, sprinkle a little bit of chili powder all throughout the uh, pan there. And then uh, we'll continue to uh, stir this up, brown it all up, and then we'll drain it off. Drain the grease off, that is. Now we get our pot with our fire down low, we start adding our ingredients in. We'll start with some diced tomatoes, big can of diced tomatoes put in the pot. Then the big debate about chili is beans or no beans. Traditionally, most chili doesn't have beans, but all the chili that I've ever had always had beans. And so we're gonna add some dark red kidney beans and light red kidney beans. So we got two cans of beans in here to go with our big can of diced tomatoes. Then we add Floyd's secret ingredient in his chili, beer. I mean, good. What, what good is a chili without beer, right? I mean, yeah, it adds a lot of good flavor in here and simmer down, it'll uh, take all the alcohol out as it simmers along, but it adds a great flavor into this chili. Then onto our spices, we add a little bit more chili powder into our uh, mix. Then we'll also mix in some garlic powder. And some of you might want to use the diced onion or what whatnot. Uh, fresh onion is great. I'm not going to use uh, that much. So I'll use this uh, minced onion here and uh, put that into the mix. And now we add our strained uh, ground beef. That's been browned. And let the grease drain, drain off a bit. Now we're gonna mix this up and let it simmer for quite some time because you wanna let the liquid boil down a bit. Only been a few minutes, but you still wanna check uh, periodically on your chili uh, and stir it periodically to make sure that it doesn't scorch the bottom. Right now we're simmering up pretty decently, it's almost starting to bubble, but we want to give it a good quick stir and then uh, cover it back up and let it keep going. Bubble, bubble, toilet, toilet. Ah, let me stop. Yeah, we got their uh, chili going there on. They're really good. Cooking up very nicely. Bubbling up very well. So we're gonna give it another stir and uh, keep checking on it periodically. We've been simmering for a good part of an hour, so yeah, we're simmering down really well. Our chili is looking done. I love the smell every time I take that lid off. You get the taste of the, or the smell of the, uh, of the beer with, the, uh, with, with all the spices and the chili as well. And it's, uh, it's looking really good. So yeah, it's about time to take them off and uh, let's give it a taste. Time to get a taste of this chili and I'm gonna take a quick bite of it before I dock her up and anything else just to, to give it a little bit of a uh, taste in there. But you can see the tomatoes, the two beans, the ground beef, all came out really well and juicy still. <laughs> so let's take this taste. Ah, still very heat hot, <laughs> which is really good because you know, you want chili to warm you up on cold days so we'll add a little bit of papa's pepper in here i fall in love with papa's pepper and uh, they don't pay me for it 
I had to buy this uh, this bottle, and uh, I'm glad I did. I love it. I mean, it's enhanced flavors. It's better than adding a little bit of hot sauce or anything to your uh, food. It uh, actually gives more of enhancement as opposed to an overpowering uh, amount of uh, heat. But now I'll also add some cheese because chili's always great with cheese, isn't it? Or almost everything better with cheese, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we'll sprinkle a little bit of cheese in there. And if I had sour cream, I would add some sour cream too because sour cream on chili is actually a good addition as well. So we'll uh, take this and got that doctored up there and give it another little taste with all of that. Mm. Oh, that's the right amount of heat with that Papa's pepper there. Good spiciness now. So don't forget to have your favorite beverage along with your chili. And thank you very much for watching. Continue to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and TikTok. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Floyd at the Grill, a Hilltop Media production.